Let's get serious. Uh, what is going on, everybody? Nuts of Lover XOX here, and welcome to another Call of Duty video. We are going to be playing Advanced Warfare. It's not going to have much to do with the commentary. And I apologize, I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 3 because the beta dropped for PS4 today. Um. August 18, 2015, but I do not own a PS4, know where I ever buy a PS4. Um, so I don't have any Xbox gameplay because the beta is not out for us yet. But I wanted to make a little video talking about what I've seen so far from many videos. Um, I will be putting up gameplay once the beta comes out on Xbox One. You can be sure of that. I will be doing as many videos as I can, giving full impressions, actually hands on stuff, but. I'd like to give impressions of what I've seen um, so far from videos and things like that. So, the first thing that I, I want to talk about is the stuff that looks really good. It looks a lot more like Black Ops than Advanced Warfare, and that is a, a superbly good thing because Advanced Warfare was garbage, absolute trash because the movement system was so chaotic and so fast and so just instantaneous movement that it was almost impossible to play and this game has that movement but it's got it it's it's lower it's much slower it's much easier to deal with it's much easier to control the movement actually makes sense you can hit people that are flying through the air like a fucking idiot and you're not flying through the air like a fucking idiot you're controllably moving it's like sprinting except vertically it makes a lot more sense than the instantaneous vertical movement. And I think I kind of understand now that Advanced Warfare had to happen. Because, you know, that that's how progress is made. You have to fuck up in order to achieve progress. And I think that's what Advanced Warfare is kind of going to be known for. Um, if this advanced movement thing continues. Is Advanced Warfare is going to be known as the Trailblazer and the fuck up. Unfortunately, the fuck up. Um for the Call of Duty series, but they at least brought the movement system into the series. And I think Black Ops is and further games are going to improve upon the the mechanic and make it better and better as time goes on, assuming they even keep the mechanic at all. But that was a the the number one thing for me is the fact that it's much better than Advanced Warfare. It looks smoother, more fluid, slower, more like Black Ops. And that's fantastic for me. Um, the guns looked awesome. They look really cool. They, they sound really punchy. That was one thing that Advanced Warfare did really right was the fact that the guns sounded just bang. Just like you, you could actually, like like with the HBRA3, you could feel that gun just go, 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 as you fired it. And, I mean, every gun I was watching, like the CUDA SMG was just... It's, it sounded so deep and bassy and just punchy, and the sounds were fantastic. The guns look fantastic. They sound fantastic. They did a great job with the guns, and I'm really hoping, you know, you know, the, the overpowered pistols are back, baby. Woo! I'm, a, I'm excited. Like, one of my favorite things to do in Black Ops 2 was to run around with Tac-19 and 5.7 and, and just get, like, 30-plus kill games with, like, two deaths, maybe, if I was lucky. Um, and it, it, it's, the guns look fantastic they really look fantastic and i'm super super excited um about the guns and uh what they have to offer um the maps look okay i mean there's only three of them they, they, they i mean there's wall running it's like they did you know it's nothing we haven't seen before the maps we the maps are the same maps we saw at e3 so at the end of the day the maps are the same thing we haven't learned anything new there um but that's it in terms of gameplay. The the paint shop looks fucking so cool. It just I I'm gonna spend like weeks in there. <laughs> I'm gonna spend weeks in the paint shop just making the coolest thing. And I'm super excited to just like layer a paint shop skin on top of a, a camo on a gun. I'm so fucking excited for the paint shop and my emblem editor and oh my god, I'm I cannot wait for that to happen and I am just I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm ecstatic for the paint shop and the customization. Speaking of customization, I do have something bad to talk about, and this links in with the really, really big elephant in the room when it comes to Black Ops 3 right now as a whole. I haven't played the game yet, obviously, but from what I've seen, the specialists 
are a problem. Um, and it's the it's the same fear I had. I, it, I I said in a couple videos ago. I can't remember which one it is. So I'm not gonna link it because I can't remember what it is. But I, I said earlier that I was afraid they would do a thing like they do with Destiny, where you have to have a certain class like look. You know, if you pick the Seraph, you have to look like a Seraph. You know, and I don't like that. I I like the whole free range of customization. I like the whole, you know, in Ghosts, you don't have to have a sniper rifle to wear a ghillie suit. You can wear a ghillie suit if you want to. And, you know, it's a big deal for me to, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go off on a huge tangent on this because I've done it plenty of times, but I'm gender fluid. And it's a big deal for me to play as a female. It's just a big deal for me. And the fact that you can't, there's no, there's not two genders. You see what I mean? There's not two genders for both, um, for all of, all of the uh, specialists. It bothers me a lot, and I wish that they would do something about it. I don't know if they really can at this point. They might be able to. They might not. But that's that's a concern I have. It it kind of limits customization. I, I I think Advanced Warfare actually did a really good job with customization. Aside from the fact that they did a stupid job with the fact that it needs to be your gear needs to come out of supply drops, but at the end of the day, I think they did a really good job with customization. You know, you can pick your gender, you can pick what you wear, you can pick how you look, you can pick all that stuff. You can just full customization, full range of customization. Whereas, in this game, it's like, it's like Destiny, where you have to, you have to look a certain way if you want to play a certain way. Like, if you want to use Seraph, you have to look like a Seraph. If you want to use, you know what I mean, if you, if you want to use Gravity Spikes, you have to look like the big bulky dude that looks like Tank Dempsey, you know. It, it's it's annoying, and I wish that they wouldn't do that. Um, I can see why they did it, so that you can see from a far away away, hey, that's that's a person, that, that's a robot coming to kill me. That's what he's got, that's, that's what his loadout is, but I don't know, That that's a problem in my mind it's just a customization problem like you're gonna put all this customization in the weapon paint shop it's like you're not gonna let me customize my shoulder I don't know I'm going on a bit of a rant on that but that's something that really really bothers me and the specialists in general look really 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 scary like if we think about what what's the worst thing about destiny pvp the supers the the worst thing about destiny pvp is the op supers the the blade dancer, the gunslinger, the the striker, the you know all these supers are just. I mean, some of them are really underpowered, like the bubble bro and the self res. But I mean, at the end of the day, why why do we need destiny supers in Call of Duty? Why why do we have to take the worst thing from Destiny PVP and put it into Call of Duty? It's just from the gameplay I've seen, it just looks like a lot of them are just so unstoppable. Like, the Golden Gun dude is just ridiculously gnarly. And the freaking, the Grenade Launcher lady is just mind-boggling. Just like, you just, it's it's like got grenades and horseshoes on it. You just fire, like, close to the enemy and it just explodes and blows them up. And there's nothing they can do about it. Um... And that's very frustrating, and that 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 scares me a lot. And uh, I'm 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 worried about the I'm worried about the specialists. Um, and man, I I don't know. But I think that's really it with my first impressions takeaway video. Um, I think I think the game looks good. I think the game looks solid. I think Treyarch is is gonna do a good job. We'll have to wait and see next week when I get to get my hands on it on on Wednesday. I'll be sure to bring you guys videos uh, then, but specialists worry me. The customization when it comes to my characters worries me, and uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how it all pans out, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe if you did, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Enemy care package incoming. Enemy UAV above. Securing C. Our UAV is online. Enemy assault drone incoming. C secure. 
Friendly UAV above. We got torn up out there. Bring it next time. 